My name is Ryan Dayhoff. I am the section head over the secure and digital manufacturing in the Manufacturing Sciences Division. And I lead our uh, metal additive manufacturing here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. So the goal of our powder bed work here at the manufacturing demonstration facility is to really try to transform additive manufacturing into a mainstream manufacturing um, technology for high rate production of highly advanced components. And there are four major uh, focus areas uh, that we're investigating under this research area. One is the development of new equipment. That includes taking commercial systems and making it more robust, uh, such that we can achieve Six Sigma type approaches for manufacturing certification. We also then uh, are looking at design and development of new systems. So looking at completely transforming what the powder bed additive manufacturing systems look like today. Um, this includes the development of new materials uh, and, and using these technologies to do highly advanced materials design. We call this things like hybrid materials where we can actually put multiple materials and multiple microstructures uh, into, a, into a specific component. Uh, we are also looking at things like um, advanced modeling. Uh, this is for looking at not only modeling the processes, but understanding how do we actually design and fabricate components specifically for this technology. So behind us you see some of our industrial partners from GE Additive or RCAM. Uh, we have a cooperative research and development with GE. We have uh, a research and development agreements with people like AddUp. Uh, on the development of, of their systems. Um, and then a variety of different collaborators. We have almost every single powder bed uh, type of technology available on the market today. Um, this includes both laser powder bed, electron beam powder bed, and then binder jet additive manufacturing technology. Uh, so we really work with the end user who's trying to implement the additive technology to understand what technology uh, needs to be used what research needs to be done on that technology to make sure that they can then industrially implement that in an actual manufacturing environment. Um, so a couple example projects. One would be something uh, that we, we did recently with a company called Solar Turbines. We've had a long history of development of nickel-based super alloys uh, for additive manufacturing using the RCAM technology. And most recently, we fabricated an entire set of industrial land-based gas turbine blades. Uh, they were designed from solar turbines. They were then manufactured at the MDF, inspected with our industrial partner Zeiss uh, to make sure that we could certify and qualify those components. They were actually then machined and inserted and actually run in solar turbines uh, actual engine test uh, out in San Diego. That test was successful and really shows that we can really use additive manufactured components in these extremely demanding end use applications such as engines. One of the things that we're really excited about is this concept of a hybrid material. Uh, and what this means is that we can actually specifically design uh, individual properties at individual locations within a component. And that will really help us control the end performance of a component, right? And so we can do this in a multitude of different ways. You can think about printing something like a lattice structure and then overfilling that with a second material, either through casting or a powder metallurgy approach. Uh, so we've explored things like that. We've also recently been able to control the microstructure uh, at the grain level in individual components. We can, we can then make equiaxed material, which is what you would have in, in a conventional or rot process, the whole way up to a single crystal material. What's unique is we can actually put each one of those materials at an individual location within a component to optimize the overall component performance, right? So this is a, a unique idea. We're working with several different um, people that have industrial design tools that we can now go through and optimize these designs with as well. So this is an exciting new thing. We, we believe that through this approach, we can really improve the overall uh, performance of components. And, and so this is an exciting technology that we're developing.